Yo everyone, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. I hope you are all keeping well. Uh, and today I'm gonna be doing a full day of eating at 2,000 calories. And as always, I have some brand new recipes that are going to blow your mind. This first one in particular is an absolute beast, to be honest. That is the one word I can use to describe it. It's a really, really good recipe if you have a sweet tooth, but at the same time, you have a big appetite. You want something that is voluminous. You want something that is going to fill you up. You want something that is high in protein. That ticks all of these boxes. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. Okay, let's get this show on the road, and I'm gonna start by adding 200 ml of egg whites to a Pyrex dish. That is gonna be followed by 15 grams of vanilla whey protein from bulk, 200 grams of this no added sugar apple puree, 50 ml of almond milk, 30 grams of zero calorie maple syrup from bulk, one teaspoon of low calorie sweetener, a very generous amount of cinnamon. Let's mix that all together. Okay, I forgot one teaspoon of baking powder. And now let's mix it all together. And now I'm going to roughly break up three slices of 60 calorie bread and add them to the dish. As you'll see, there will still be like little bits of protein protein powder that are not yet absorbed, uh, but with these final few ingredients, they will. I'm also gonna add in one red apple that I've cut into little pieces into the mix. Five ml of vanilla extract for that final bit of sweetness. And let's mix again. Okay, so this is how we are looking. And now, as you can see, I am just putting it in the oven at 250 degrees Celsius for about 15 minutes. Okay, so now that there's only a few minutes left on the casserole in the oven, I am going to get to work on the frosting. So I'm gonna add 50 grams of 0% fat vanilla yogurt to a glass or a bowl. 50 grams of zero calorie maple syrup from bulk. And let's mix those together. And here we go. It is looking good. Okay, so this is how we are looking. And now I'm just going to pour my frosting on top. So as I said, that is an absolute tank of a meal, a really nice and filling way to start your day. But if you didn't have the calories for the whole thing or you weren't having it, having it as a main meal, it's still quite versatile. So for example, if you wanted it as a snack instead, you could just half all of the ingredients. And yeah, it would make for a pretty good dessert style meal in the evening time uh, before going to bed. So yeah, don't be afraid to mix things up. All right, so it is about 13 weeks until Christmas, which is crazy. <laughs> it's like 14 weeks until the end of the year. And at this time of year, I always open up a couple of spaces on my coaching program because you know it's important to know that if most of the year didn't go your way in terms of your health and fitness goals, in terms of getting in the shape that you wanna be in, in terms of building your confidence, in terms of building the habits uh, that you want to follow, uh, then there is still time. You know, There's still time to end 2021 on a massive high. There is still time uh, to start 2022 on the front foot, You know, in the best shape of your life, physically and mentally. So as of when this video goes live, I'm going to be opening up five spaces on my coaching program, and I'm gonna leave the application form uh, in the comment section below. And whenever I do this, I get tons and tons of applications. So if you are really serious about it, you know, if you're really serious about making a change, then make sure you put the time and effort into your application. Uh, and then I will be in touch and we will go from there. But in the meantime, let's go to my next meal. Okay, so next up we have a meal that you could have for breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever. And as you can see, I've made a start. I've cut up uh, 200 grams of baby potatoes into little pieces uh, and added them to a Pyrex dish that I sprayed with some one calorie spray. I'm gonna spray them again, add some sea salt, some smoked paprika, some garlic, and some black pepper. Give that a little shake. Then I'm gonna put the potatoes in the oven at 250 degrees Celsius for about 25 minutes. And as the potatoes cook away, I'm just going to add 60 grams of bacon medallions to a pan. Oh, and these will be going in the oven, so make sure you don't make them crispy on the pan, just cook them lightly. And if you don't have access to bacon medallions for whatever reason, I know a lot of my US subscribers kind of struggle to find them and um, actually comment below and let me know if you are from the US uh, and you have sourced them. I know that you can get them in the US but maybe they just aren't in every supermarket. But a perfect replacement here would be turkey bacon uh, because that is a lean source of protein as well. And as they are cooking away, let's get to work on the egg mix. So you wanna add 200 ml of egg whites to a bowl. Let's add one egg into the mix. 
Let's pick any eggshells out of the mix. Let's give that a little mix. Okay, so potatoes are good to go. Nice and crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. Now let's add a little bit more one calorie spray. I'm gonna add in a quarter of an onion that I've chopped into little pieces. Uh, 30 grams of spinach that I've chopped into little pieces. And I'm gonna add in my bacon medallions as well. That is gonna be followed by my egg mix. Let's mix it all up. Actually, let's add in a little bit more smoked paprika too. Uh, just for good measure. And now I'm just gonna put it back in the oven for about 20 minutes or so uh, until the eggs are fully cooked. Okay, we are looking very, very good. All right, so now I am going to cut it into four quadrants. You might wanna cut down around the edges as well so it comes out nice and smoothly. Let's scoop these babies one by one onto a plate. How good does this look? And before I forget, I did get inspiration for this recipe uh, from Jalal Sam Fit on TikTok. And for the finishing touches, I'm going to add 50 grams of this lightest Philadelphia, which is just low fat soft cheese uh, to the top. Okay, so as most of you probably know, game changer is a phrase I say on a very regular basis. I probably overuse it. Uh, and in my last video, I asked people how to say it in their kind of national language or whatever. Uh, and I got loads of replies and honestly, I'm not confident that I can pronounce a single one of these properly. Let's do a few. Okay, so Peter or Petra says in Romanian, it's Shimba Joaca. Maybe. Blush Lilo says game changer in French is Sachange la don or la donne. No, it's only donne with an accent. I'm not sure. <laughs> Nelson Franco says I am Colombian and it is cambiador de juego. That could be right. What else have we got here? In Spanish, I'm pretty sure it is un cambio de juego. Is that not what Nelson said? Cambiador de juego. They are very similar. All right, let's do a couple more. So Ali Lad says in Turkish it is Oyun. Deish Tiri Oyun Deish Tiriji. Is that right? Okay, last one. Bogdan is from Montenegro. That's a small country in Europe, I am aware. Um, and Bogdan says we don't have a translation for game changer. Maybe something like Jesus. Ziv Zivatna Promjina. That's 100% not right. Alright, that was absolutely pathetic. So let's go back to doing what I am pretty okay at. Uh, and that is making tasty meals. Uh, so yeah, let's go to my next meal. Okay, so my first couple of meals have been a little bit longer to prepare, so this one is quick and easy, and I'm gonna add half of an onion to a pan. I'm gonna add half of a red pepper, half of a yellow pepper, and I'm also gonna add 150 grams of chicken breast that I've sliced into pieces. Let's separate everything out a little bit. And then I'm gonna season with some sea salt, some smoked paprika. Let's get some chili flakes in there. This is gonna be a spicy one. A little bit of cumin and some cayenne pepper. Let's give that a good mix. And once the chicken and the veg are almost cooked and ready to go, let's add 30 grams of green jalapenos into the mix and just let it cook away for the final few minutes. Okay, so as you can see, I've added 100 grams of mixed leaves to a plate. You can use whatever leaves you want. I'm gonna add the chicken fajita mix to the top. And then for some healthy fats, I'm gonna scoop half of an avocado into the mix. And and I'm gonna add 100 grams of salsa to the top. Okay, so I'm a firm believer in the saying, a salad a day keeps the hunger at bay. Uh, and salads are just a staple in my diet in general. It doesn't even have to be when I'm in a calorie deficit. I usually just have one every day regardless. And that is just because they are so high in volume. So 100 grams of salad is usually gonna contain somewhere around 20 calories. That is absolutely ridiculous. And then when you combine that with a lean protein source like chicken, with some more veg, with a low calorie sauce like salsa, 
you are 100% onto a winner. And then, you know, even if you do include uh, something a little bit more calorie dense in the meal, so half of an avocado in this example, the calories in the whole meal are still gonna be quite low and you're still gonna be feeling like very full and very satisfied. Okay, so final recipe of the day. This one is plucked straight from the Jay Clark Fitness Nutrition Hub where I have hundreds of recipes uh, for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, desserts, uh, low in calories, high in protein, high in volume, just like the recipes that you watch me make week in, week out. Uh, so if you're interested in that, the link is in the description box. And first things first, I'm gonna break up one banana and add it to a bowl. I am going to mash it up well with a fork. So just like this. Then I'm gonna add in 50 ml of egg whites, 15 grams of plain white flour. I'm gonna add 30 grams of zero calorie maple syrup from bulk, 30 grams of vanilla whey protein, three to four grams of baking powder, some cinnamon. Let's mix everything together. This is the kind of consistency that you are going for. Now let's add 15 grams of chocolate chips to the top. And then I'm just gonna put it in the microwave for about one minute and 15 seconds. Okay, so the only thing that needs to be said about this baby, whatever language that you speak, uh, is that it is an absolute game changer. This in the evening time, after dinner, before going to bed as a little sweet snack, hits the spot every single time. Protein, banana bread in a bowl, give it a go. Okay, so final meal of the video in the bag, and you'll notice that if you add up the total calories of today's meals, uh, it comes to just over 1,830 calories. So those remaining 170 calories-ish, just treat those as free calories. So for example, you could have uh, a snack in the afternoon, you could have a snack in the evening, you could have a snack in the afternoon and the evening, whatever you want. You should have that flexibility in your diet to set aside, you know, a small number of calories each day to just eat whatever you want. All right, everyone, I'm gonna wrap the video up there. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure you comment below and let me know. Every single comment, every single thumbs up goes a long, long way. I feel like I already beat myself at the end of every video. But as always, I want to know what your favorite recipe was. Was it the apple pie casserole? Uh, was it the loaded potatoes? Was it the chicken fajita salad? Uh, or was it the protein banana bread in a bowl? Comment below, let me know. But yeah, thank you so much for watching everyone. I appreciate all of the support lately. Uh, and yeah, I hope you're keeping well, and I will see you in the next video.